Hey guys, I'm Shark back playing and showing you how you can absolutely obliterate your opponents in season 12 with the one and only Seraphine support. Yes, she's like another variation of Lux mage like crowd control support. But yes, very strong, can consistently carry with her damage and utility, and is just generally speaking decent. So, like, usually, guys, if you and yeah, we can choose this bush. Let's go right here. So like usual guys, he's, he's leashing right, he has to be. So like usual guys, if you enjoy, find it helpful, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes we took, Summoner's Airy, Manifold Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Flint of Life, Revelize. Gonna empower Q the Jin. get a really good trade in, and we're gonna back away and go, go to lane here. So that way we can get the XP. Those are the rune stats there, and in this lane we're playing against Jin, Tom Kench, pretty medium difficulty matchup. So yes, uh, we are... I'm being honest, your early game's kind of okay. Depends on which ADC you're paired up with. We got a really good trade on the Jin, which is so nice. Because, let's see what he started. Started D-Blade, okay. D-Blade instead of the boots, so it's it's possible he could have even recalled because he is in kill range with my Ignite. So yeah, we're just going to slow build the wave, and you already know. Every time your, your jungler leashes top and they're leashing bot, always try to cheese that... Uh, that little spot you saw there. You always will win. Even if you were playing early, uh, weak early game champs. We're going to try to see what we can do here. Kane is pathing towards bot. Empowered E into Q. Oh no. You misclicked the cannon, didn't you? We're going to Q. Your Q is so easy to activate. It's very nice. I'm gonna drop a ward top side because we know Kane is bot side. Let's see what Tom Kench is doing. I think I think Kane's at Scuttle Crab. Yeah, no, but Nocturne's still full clearing, so we'll just be chilling for a little bit. I'm gonna actually see if I can help Nocturne out to... Is Crab if he's here? No, he's full clearing. Okay, he's full clearing. Cute. I didn't even hit him with that. Oh no, that's embarrassing. We got the, uh, I'm going to W Jin's last auto. Nah, that wouldn't have even been a kill with Ignite. But typically, for combos... It's to hit them with that empowered E, and then it would guarantee your Q. If they're CC'd, then you can just empowered Q for more damage, but... Just trying to stack mana flow. After that, you hit him with the empowered auto attack. Alright, I'm recalling. We're up in CS, so I mean, we're chilling. No mana. Some people would prefer the tier. I prefer just going straight to mythic. It's a preference thing. Uh, if Kaisa dies there, I'm sorry, I pinged off. Both sums up. Used heal pretty late. Might be too early to roam. Because Nocturne is just gonna keep farming, so I should just go bot. I'd roam if I had like a like a, I don't know, like a Warwick. I don't know, someone who wants to make plays happen early. I'd roam, but Nocturne is just gonna full clear, so it's not much you can really deal with that. But yeah, Kaisa, I don't know, maybe with both sums she could have lived, but she used heal late, and uh, yeah. Oh, 
<sighs> Gonna set up a little freeze here. Okay, I like it. Gonna place a ward right there, so that way we know if they're coming. Ari. I think Ari counters Zarath, actually. Especially post six. She's just getting smashed. Yep. Empower W O P. Nice damage. You dealt negative damage. And that's like your team fight special. Okay. <laughs> yep, with the empowered Q, we really we, we shredded him. And your team fight special is that empowered W. I knew Kane was topside, which is why we were, or at least I was hugging Tower. And uh, I was gonna miss. Got my empowered E. It's possible we might be able to get a kill. Nah, Kais is too low. But that's fine. Look at that. Look at all that poke. We're getting towards our scaly power spikes. We can recall. Alright, Kaisa. Alright, Kaisa. Gotta love all the poke I'm doing. And then, at this point, we should get Sweeper. I want Boots. Boots more than Ruby. Um, Rift Herald? Nah. nah. The goal is to stay bot for now. Yeah, for now. I mean, Seraphine's more of a stay in bot lane type champ. Not really a roam champ, and her team fighting's really good. Kind of like a Sona, but not saying you can't roam. It's just like my mid laner is too far behind and my and my jungler is actually behind in levels. So even if I roam there, we're probably still going to lose and it's better. We just stay bot and see what we can do here. What the hell? Uh, does my team actually win that? Uh, to be fair, they're outnumbering them. Zerath isn't there. <laughs> it's actually nuts. I'm pinging it. <laughs> it's the good part about playing support. You get to see if your ADC misses the cannons. You're not the one missing those. Just trying to get a Q off so that way I can stack my mana flow. Got him with the Q. I got my empowered E. Damn you, Jin. Get so much movement speed. We can E and then empowered Q because our first E provides the slow to land it. Let me R through the Kaisa. And I think we actually win this. Go, go, go. And I can uh I can stun the this guy, whatever the Jin. Jinarino, you can yeah movement speed in and there we go we get the double kill you know what i'm saying that's seraphine gaming that's how we play yeah that empowered q really does deal the damage if you just use your e before you get your last charge and then empowered q it's huge And no joke, you can play this champ every game because guess what? Sarah finds an ADC, a mid laner, and support. So, you know, choose as you will. Win conditions definitely probably bot side this game. Gonna get our tier twos. Yeah. Tier twos are better. Actually, we'll wait for Kindle. I don't think we really need the potions. Yeah, Kaisa. 
And uh, l let me think of that. Am I recording? I am. Nice. All right, let me think. Uh, of the rights. Kaisa and me or Kaisa and I? Kaisa and me are popping off. Take notes, guys. So basically, if you want to get the right grammar there, you just replace it. One sec. I got to... Gonna W here and power W. Make our boy live. I ain't gonna tank that last tire shot though. You just say whatever's the other. So like, look, like I am popping off versus me is popping off. It's I am popping off. So it's uh, Kaisa and I are doing well. Yeah, exactly. So anyways, back to this lane. Uh, we're among... I, I, I have to ward, actually. After we shove in that wave. You want to always shove in waves, then look to ward. See if they got a ward here. They got a ward here, so we got to chill for a minute. And Kane probably wants to eat through a wall or something to try to get us. I'm actually use the W for the heal here. It's a slight heal, but you know. Oh, he got me. And remember, when you are, you always want to R behind your teammates. That way it goes further. You see? It's the bottom part. But we want to bait him in. I like what this Kais is thinking. I actually think they're at a... Uh... Kane might be at drag. I think we can 1v3, if I'm being honest. I really do think they're there. Yep. Oh, they vision warded it. <laughs> Kais. Let's see it. I mean, I don't care if you are, it's the tower is too close. Why is Mord bot? He's a top laner. Ooh. There's four people bot. Typical, I guess. I guess typical. I can't ward because, you know, Tom Kench and Kane and Mordekaiser are in the jungle. But, 5v5 we should win, so we're chilling. We are chilling. Kaisa needs to recall anyways because she's out of mana. It's literally dumb. Yeah, I think Mordekaiser outscaled the Malphite, so that's doomed. Sir, at this bot? Oh, hell no. He is, f what, 3 0? Oh? I cannot do that. Me and Kaisa cannot do that. Let's go mid. I have enough for Moonstone, and that's actually a huge power spike. Alright, I'll clear it. I like Kaisa's thinking. She's going for a shutdown. Level 11. No, 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 no. That's, that's just not it's bad news. That's nice. We got one. Run, 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 run. I want to peel the team, but at the same time, they're literally all bot side. I'm going to place the ward deeper in the river.
All right, gotta save my empowered E for uh, their engage. I think I'll look for the recall. Because I, I don't think we win team fights as of right now. It's tough. I can empower W him. Yep, power W E R. Guess that's not enough. Kaisa, what's going on? All right. Yeah, that's tragic. Don't worry. I mean, playing this champ, I don't think we can go full AP. That's not how it works. Why? Why is that, Why is my ADC pinging me? Why? <laughs> why? Why are you picking me? How is that my fault? <laughs> no, nah, that's typical stuff. You just gotta mute and ignore their opinions wrong. Okay, that's what you gotta think in your mind. Their opinions wrong because it actually is. And you mute them, and now you just you don't even acknowledge what they just did. You play your own game. Just like how Ari's going uh, full MR here. Zerat should be dead. Alright. I didn't know he was going to flash. Well, we needed to make sure he's dead because the 550 gold shutdown is actually just huge. Oh, wait. I, <laughs> I was kind of BM of me. Look for it. Oh man, I wanted an assist. You know what? Let's take bot inhib, get the bounty gold, and then we'll start heading towards top lane. Yeah, we'll take it. Objective bounty, sweet cheese. I have to position behind everyone, or else I think Mordecai's will destroy me. Empowered, uh, we hit the, I believe we empowered E the cane, or empowered Q, dealt a lot of damage, and we're being very useful. At this point, as long as we pick out the Zorath, we should win team fights. The only reason why we lose team fights is if Zorath pokes us out before they start. What? What is the move? Yeah, it's to ward and then go drag. We got objective bounty on this too. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of does feel like a. I gotta work on that warding spot. It does feel like an even game. It kind of feels like we don't need an objective bounty. Oh yeah, we don't anymore. I don't have W yet. Nice one, Kaisa. EQ. We got some AP to work with, so. You know, there's that. He's not going to R. I wanted to empower W, everyone. We are winning these team fights. Gonna empower W everyone yet again. And it's like they can't do anything about this team fighting. We're living the Seraphine dream. But I, I need it for the video. I need to hit you guys with a satisfying five man ulti. Funny. Mm. I think. I think Sona's actually.
Nah, Sona and Seraphine are pretty even, like in terms of strength as a champion. They're just so similar. That, uh, that's the thing. They're just so similar. All right, recall. Gotta get some anti heal for the Kane. The Kane and Mordekaiser primarily. And honestly, you know, I'm down to team fight again. Kaisa's got two and a half items. She's at her late game. I want to get wards off though. My team has to ward with me. I might get picked. Alright, Malphite, nice R. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. The most, like, skillful factor of this champ is just, like, which move to empower. In team fights, I want to say 9 times out of 10, it will be your W due to the fact that it's just, it really is game-changing. The amount of healing and shielding. Oh, no, turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. We just wanted to bait him in. Team. Wow, well, well, at least we got the Baron. You know what I mean? It's like, at least we got the Baron. We really should have turned, though. <laughs> that was a bad Baron. It was a, it, was, it was a good Baron call to draw them to fight us. Like, to make them fight us, but... It was a bad play to commit to it. Because it basic rule of thumb. If it's on half and they show up, you gotta run you gotta turn the fight on them. You can't finish the Baron. You you hear that? Gotta keep moving with the music. Walk backwards. Let's go, Malphite. Alright. <laughs> that was quite painful to see. I have my R in two seconds. Might be able to get it. I don't... I need to get a good R angle off. Shove in mid and then take drag. Oh, I, I did not mean to click that plant. Shove in mid. That's that. Uh, I mean, it was a two man R, but you know what I mean? It's game changing. I'm going to East. That way we can get an empowered W. Because this is going to be the game changer. Not really an empowered Q. And now we should be... Got to empower W again. Always had empowered W. We already have Baron too. Malphi has R. Are you serious right now? I 
I'm actually, man, I'm feeling the full AP, like a Rallies. Forget the staff or whatever. All right, you're dead, Nocturne. None of our teammates are there. Power W for the win. Dodge. LOL. I'm about to just go AP. It's not even bad. It is not even bad. Let's go. Do we win 5v5? It's literally just our ability to get the, the Zerath. Because I know Malphite loses 1v1 if he splits against the Mordekaiser. It's just a given. Waiting for a team fight to break out. What's the move, team? Yeah, we don't really need a R as of right now. But that is the move. Now I can R. Two man R. Game changing R. Ah, yeah, we can go Baron. Why not? Baron, drag. All our good stuff. How much has. Yeah, we do have a, a good amount of anti-heal, so we're chilling. We don't have to worry about Kane too much. And now we set up for that good old uh, dragon. Shall we? I mean, Jin's top anyways. I, I can R that. Start it. 
Yeah, we have to start it because uh, our base is getting pushed in. Yep. I dropped the ulti on the canes. So that way he could not. He could not kill the dragon. And just like that. We get our ADC a Penta kill. That isn't 1v5 gaming. I don't know what it is. It's the Seraphine diff. Let's see if there's any wards here and uh I guess he, she doesn't want it. That's fine. That's all good. I think I'm gonna just base. I'm gonna base, get my rallies, and then now I'll start building towards the staff. Vision Ward's probably better. Um. <laughs> Group. Gotta get a word on my left or right so that way we don't get flanked. Here we are. Oh no, my R hit no one, but we need the Kaisa more than ever. There we go. And just like that, I think that should be the game. That's going to be out of 1v9 with the one and only Seraphine. Like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you in the next one. Oh, wow, I'm actually getting destroyed by every Zerath Q. Look at the healing, though. Oh, wow. Got away from my empowered W again. Look at the shielding. And boom, the healing. Man, that's insane. This champion is just... <laughs> oh, man. Honestly, yeah, this game is going on forever. Recall, and then we take the the dragon. The uh, Baron, I mean. I'll even get Elixir. Because probably, by the time we take Baron, we can end. And that'll be our last team fight. Death cap. Hmm. Um. Yep. Play to shove in mid. Kaisa's full build. So I'm guessing she just doesn't want to recall. When we start the Baron. Take it. Force it because someone is literally bot lane. 
If Kane is literally bot lane, we will force the, the Baron and then we'll go Dragon. I got the rallies on the Zura. We still win. Bro, Kai <laughs> Kai said dealt zero DPS. Oh man, that, that hurt. Kai said dealt zero DPS to the to the Baron. That should have been a lot quicker. And she's sitting on R the whole team fight. <laughs> it is what it is though. We won. Bar recording. I think I already checked. And I am nice. Let's see, got the uh, got the elder, so that's good. Comment below, everyone. Let's see, what's your favorite support to play? I'm I'm curious. You know, is it one of these uh heal shielder Sonus? Sarah, Soraka, Lulu, or is it an engager like the Nautilus, Ali Star, Amumu? You know, tell me. I'm really curious. I don't know. I feel like the majority of the community, bro, they play. I, I guess it's, like, it's literally 50 50 between enchanters and tanks. It's 50 50. It's like the play style you like. I'm a fan of both. Honestly. Now we're about to enter a 40 minute game. Fun. We should be engaging towards bo towards bot side, but I don't think they're gonna listen to me. It's because I'm playing support. Like, I, I can't make this play. I can't side lane if I want to, you know? That, that That's like the, the con of support. The pro is you get to influence the map. Basically, but the, the con is, like, plays like these, you, you can't split push. Your teammates are the ones to split push, so you can't control it. So ending games becomes a little bit hard, but... Yeah, we should be chilling. Should be chilling. Gonna queue that. They're trying to split to because they lose team fights, so they're trying to split to win. That is not gonna happen though. Team. Just trying to spam my wave clear. Got the empowered W. Can we win this?
We can. Good. We got the Zerath. Game over. And we empowered Q'd him. Look at the Wombo. Timestamp that below. The Wombo combo. And just like that, I think that should be the game. That's going to be out of absolutely 1v9 with the one and only Seraphine support. I'll catch you in the next one. I ignited him so he doesn't have much healing. I'm out.